Hi there, in this video, I wanna talk about endpoint privilege management and more specifically, the latest feature called support approved elevations. Now up to this point, your end users, which are non-admin users, would need to raise a request against each application. And in order for that to happen, within Intune, you have to configure a specific rule for that application. But what if you want to get around that? What if you basically don't want to create a rule for every application and every scenario? How can you achieve this? And that's where support approved elevation comes in. So let's take a look at, we set this up and see it running. So before we get stuck into doing the configuration for this, I just hopped into the Microsoft documentation pages here. I want to highlight a few things. So on this page, you're going to get some great information about EPM in general. Um, be aware that you know this feature applies to Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now this is a security feature and it's an advanced security feature that Microsoft have released. So you're gonna need some additional licensing for this and that can either be switched on with a, an Intune suite license or a, an individual license add-on for EPM. There are some of the requirements are it can be entry joined or uh, entry hybrid joined and you can use it with configuration manager and co-management. In terms of uh, versions, take note of the versions and also the individual installs here um, for how you can actually deploy it. These are quite important because otherwise you're going to experience some issues in deploying this feature. Now let's look at some of the other important factors here. If we look at uh, disabling and deprovisioning, this is quite important. I've experienced some issues myself. I've tested this on a virtual machine running parallels on a Mac device and it doesn't work in that scenario. You can deploy on a virtual machine with Hyper-V and I did get that working, but I did fall back on using a physical Windows device. And even that in that scenario, when you're disabling um, EPM for a device, you do that through the elevation settings policy. And I'll show you that in a minute. But basically, if you do change this in quick succession, your, your settings policy, you can experience some issues, right? And this is a known issue at the moment. If I go into the endpoint privilege management deployment considerations here, there are some good leads in terms of some of the experience you may get in certain situations. And this might be, for example, as I mentioned, so the elevation settings policy might show conflict if change in quick succession. Okay, so take note of this page and also some of the other restrictions or experiences you may get. I'm hoping that, as it says here, this issue will be fixed in future releases. So let's get started with this. So we're in the Microsoft Intune Admin Center, um, and what we need to do is go to Endpoint Security, then Endpoint Privilege Management. Now, within here, if you've selected policies at the top, you can create two policies or two different types of policy. So we go and we select Windows 10 and later, and we get the option for elevation rules and settings policy. Okay, so the way in which the agent gets deployed to your device is through the settings policy, and you need to have this set up as a minimum. So we'll go ahead and select that. Uh, we'll give it a name. We hit the next. And if you haven't uh, set this up, previously you're going to need to switch this on so once you've enabled this and then you've deployed it assigned it to your users that's when the agent's going to go down to your devices and we'll see on the device in a few minutes what the impact of that so you're going to get some options for elevation response i'm not going to go through all of these but because basically you can have a look at my previous video on this and you can see more detail what we're looking at is the require support, support approval. Okay, we specifically want to kind of test this. Now, from an elevation data reporting, I'm gonna switch that on. The reason, because we wanna have a look at the reporting and we want information coming back from the device onto Intune so that we can kind of uh, review these against different reports generated. From a scope point of view, reporting scope, I'm gonna keep it the default diagnostic data and all endpoint elevations. So we hit the next, I'm not gonna select scope tags. We can add our groups. Now the groups can either be 
um, for devices or for um, users and I'm going to select the user here so it's a group of users I've only got one user in it and then we go through review and hit the create now I'm not going to actually do that because I've got one working and for time purposes I just want to use what I have already so if we go back here we've got, I've also got another rule in here okay now the support approved can also be set within a rule if we don't set a rule for a specific application the settings policy here is going to be our default okay so take note of that the reason why I've created a rule is because I want to show you what happens in this scenario but if I create if I do create a rule for a specific application and that may be the case where you do have some rules for applications but not for all you can go ahead and configure this and set this up right so I can look at the specifics around this rule you need to give it a name a description example and here you can see this new option for support approved okay the support approved is basically going to allow the end user to with no admin rights to try and install this application for example where they don't have the admin rights and they're going to be prompted to send a, a approval request through to your admin okay and we'll see that working and the impact or how that is managed going forward once you've deployed that but like i say you don't need this specific rule to run support approved support approved can be your default without any rules okay so take note of that and that's the power in my eyes that's the power of using this new feature so i'm going to go out of this we have our two policies we've got one specifically for 7-zip and one um, our general settings for support approval so let's have a look at what impact this has and what functionality it brings when this is deployed down to my device so back over on my actual pc i'm going to go onto the uh, the home drive the c drive here and just show you where the files are located for the agent so we're going to see then program files and then we've got this additional folder called epm agent and this is where all the commandlets and all the logs are kept for the agent as you interact with the service. I can also go into uh, and have a look at the service actually running, right? So to do this in order to see it, it is um, secure. So I need to log on as the admin user. So let's go ahead and log on as the admin user first. So it start the service and if I go down the screen, you should see, we should see the EPM agent under Microsoft, or is it now um, the Microsoft EPM agent service. And you can see that it's running and the startup is automatic. So if I close this down now, what we're going to actually do is actually see this working, right? So I've downloaded two applications. I've got the 7-zip application executable and the VLC. So if I right click this application, you now have a new option, okay? On your drop down options, you've got this run with elevated access, which you wouldn't have had before. So I'm gonna click that and it's gonna give me a prompt in order to fill a, a business justification in, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna hit the send. Um, this should go back into Intune and we'll go back and have a look at that in a minute but before we do that uh, we're going to do the same operation for the 7-zip application as well so let's uh, right click the 7-zip executable again we've got the run with elevated access so we click that we've got the business justification prompt so enter our justification here just put in uh, required for work and then we'll hit the send. Again, this should now be sent back onto Intune and we'll see it within the reporting and how we approve this. Back on Intune Admin Center, I can now go into my elevation requests, all right? So those requests have been submitted by my end user and I can see anything that has been requested from an application point of view that's currently pending. So the user can't actually install those apps at the moment 
uh, until we can approve them from an admin perspective. We can see the two here pending. We've got the VLC, remember, application and the 7-zip. So if I go back into this, I can actually go in and approve it. So, but I've also got the details. So you've got the file hash, for example, or the file path. And if you wanted to use this information for creating a rule, you can then go and do that in for the future. But what we have here is the ability to approve or deny. So I'm going to approve this. I'll get it. And essentially what this is going to do is allow the end user to install or make changes, for example, for at an admin level for 24 hours. And this is going to set a schedule within the end user's device to in order to carry those out within that 24 hour period. So we'll hit the yes. And that should change. If I refresh that, you can see it's now approved and that information will go back to the end user and the specific device. If I go and do the same for 7-zip, We'll hit the approve again. Go ahead and do that. Refresh. Okay, now the one difference I wanna highlight here is if you remember the VLC application does not have a specific rule assigned to it. Okay, so remember We've requested access or admin rights to carry out the install of this application on my device. And despite the fact that I don't have a specific rule, it has come through as a request. Okay, and this for me is where the power in the new feature comes into its own. We did also create a rule if you remember the rule was specified that it was support approved as well. So even though it's created this lookup as we as we saw within the uh, registry of the device there was a specific rule set up and it's followed that path but it's also allowed us to come through to elevation request and approve it okay so back on my pc i want to go through the process of elevating our request but let's have a look at the registry editor first as an admin user so we raise the request and within this uh, registry editor, what we're going to do is go to the local machine, uh, software, then Microsoft. And if we go down the page, we've got this EPM agent, right? So this is where the registry has been updated. And specifically for our 7-zip, we've got an additional entry in here. And that's because we've got a lookup and a rule that's been deployed by Intune specifically for this. We don't have that, if you remember, for our other application. So back on our PC, we want to be able to elevate and run and install these apps, but we can't do that until we've been notified that we've been approved. So you might have to wait some time, but eventually you're going to get notifications on your PC through notifications. And as you can see here, it's saying that both my requests have been approved. So now I can go ahead, I can right click each application, run the run with elevated access and instead of prompting us for justification we can go ahead with the right admin rights and permissions to install it okay so i'll hit the continue here i'm not going to actually go and install it uh, at this point but i will on the vlc because we want to make sure that this works even with uh, uh with no rules attached to an application so we've done the same right clicked it we're now going to install this application uh, and then we'll see what happens on Intune in the back end. So the application's installed. Let's hit finish here. And just to finish up on this video, let's go back. We'll go back onto Intune and just see the reports. Have a look at the reports for this. So back on my Intune Admin Center, I've gone into Endpoint Privilege Management and if you select the Reports option at the top, you can start doing some investigation or just checking what has been raised uh, and what's been reported back from your devices. Now, it is partly dependent on the level of data that you decide within your settings policy and what information you're going to get back. But if you collect everything, you're going to be able to see a breakdown by user, by applications, an elevation report, uh, the managed elevation report, which is basically down to which apps are managed and which aren't, um, and by publisher. So if we have a quick look at the user, for example, 
We should see something turn up for the specific user we had logged on in our PC. Now, just be aware that during the telemetry process, it can take up to 24 hours for the data to be pushed back into Intune. So you're not going to see it pretty quickly. And here, for example, I've got uh, my Adele Vance. This is our test user. If I click on this, it's going to give me a breakdown of the requests and this is by user for example if i click on the file it's going to give us verification that this was a support approved type and that the the actual application the file path was seven path uh, seven zip we can see there okay so seven step zip installer this looks like this is a previous one because it the times and dates don't match up so my current requests have not come through I'm not going to wait for that to come through. This gives you a good example. If I go back to by application rather than user, we should say see a similar thing for 7-Zip, which is a previous request on support approved that I raised. So there you can see my particular user. We've got 7-Zip. There were a couple of other requests here, but if we're going to 7-Zip. Again, it's telling me the type is support approved. OK, so that confirms basically we can report back that it was successful and that the uplift of administration permissions were, was performed correctly. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that's given you an indication of how you can distinguish the support approved elevation as opposed to the other options available with endpoint privilege management.